Y'all is definitely back crazy. If crazy was a person, it would definitely be y'all. You can't say that it's not some real things, but it's a lot of fake stuff. I get paid to get on social media. I get paid, you know what I'm saying? To some people, I'm lame and all types of stuff for going to work. <laughs> to some people, I can't even go to work. Me on here right now, I'm lame as hell to some people right now. I'm super lame to some people. Offended. In, in my we gonna listen to up and speak some facts real off. quick. Because she don't need them no more. So, and the reason why I don't think it's the same thing with Latruth is because Latruth has never reached out to me. Latruth, I can't name any content creators that can really say that Latruth contacted them and said, hey, this is what's going on with my situation. I really, really need you to, um, to post this. I would like for you to go after uh, uh, Nate. I would like for you to... Um, I don't think he did it. Out to us and told us what to post. He never said, "Hey, I want you to go after my wife." He never said, "Hey, I want you to go after these said these, these here content creators." He never Facetimed us. We never been on calls with him. We don't know his address. Like if we wanted to send him gifts or something like that, he never. I see nothing I wrong here. She's still speaking facts. Sit up and say, um, "You wait a minute, I want you to do all that now." You want to see me? Yeah, I can tell. Look at these smiling. So going to work and making money. <laughs> you, but you got to think, this has been going on for a long time. You got to think, people who work regular jobs too, like McDonald's, Burger King. It's Certain people will call them lame for going and working at McDonald's or Burger King or downplay them because of the type of money that they make. I'm not downplaying nobody for no job that they got. You make your money how you make your money. You're not lame for going to work. I don't care what it is that you do for a living. You are not lame for going to work. Somebody said he's, spit, he's spitting facts in here. That's all I do is spit facts. But you're going to be able to see by the comments that they ain't listening to the facts. They only here to destroy. Seek, destroy. Bring down, tear down, hurt, abuse, bully. That's what most of these people come to the comments to do. So it doesn't matter how much my positive message is, they not gonna hear it because they only hear the type negative things. They not listening. If they actually listen, they be woke. They be like, damn, he, he's, like you just said, I'm speaking facts. It's okay, this, that's, this is the type of world we've been living in. Don't you think when Martin Luther King was out fighting for our freedom and doing a lot of this stuff, it was a bunch of people around him talking junk about Martin Luther King, calling him lame, Malcolm X, all, all the great leaders. It's people that's called them lame for doing what they were doing. While they was trying to uplift the whole community, people were calling them lame. You dig what I'm saying? It's a lot of people who have been inf influential to our culture that gets called lame daily. Corny, that's enough. See somebody say corny, there we go. Corny, all of that, all while you're educating. So only the people that's gonna get it are the like-minded people who wanna see growth. That's all the people gonna see it. They, they, I'm not gonna block them, I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna allow them to be who they are. This has always happened. My, my, Listen, Malcolm X couldn't block people for calling him lame. Martin Luther King couldn't block a soul who stood out there while he was fighting for fly freedom and stuff like that. He couldn't block not one of them people that was calling him goofy, lame, that was saying whatever they were saying. It's just not on camera. See, we on social media. So these people feel cool to be able to say something negative. Why? Because they're going to get likes by their name. Pay a close attention to when you see a negative comment in these comments right now. Those people get likes. So they're inspired to be more like that. Because, oh, I got 10 likes by saying something negative. Let me see what I can say next. That's what they're going to do. Notice the people who say positive things. You don't get no likes by your comment. Because you're... that we had some sort of relationship with Latruth or that Latruth hired us and all of this stuff like that. Latruth never hired us. Latruth kept his distance. I think everybody can pretty much agree to that. Latruth kept his distance from the content creators. And I think he did that for a reason. The first reason is not, I'm not saying that he never spoke to anyone. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is for the most part, 
the truth was not telling people, hey, I want you to say this. Hey, I want you to say that. Hey, I want you to do this. Even Jeannie said that she only spoke with him on the phone once or twice. And I'm sure that they probably connected because Jeannie was going so hard every single day. It even named herself the internet sister. So I'm sure he was intrigued by that. So he probably did reach out to her or inbox her and say, hey, you know, I appreciate what you're doing. What's your number? You know, that's natural, especially with how hard she was going. But Latruth did not reach out to the content creator. We have not gotten no court documentations. None of that. So by him and his family saying, hey, I think that it needs to stop. I'm not offended by that because in the first place, the truth never asked me to cover this story. So I'm getting really sick and tired of these crazy, delusional, mentally ill, need medicine, crazy, um, deranged, need friends, need a life, need a job. Motherfuckers getting on here every day trying to make it seem like he owes us something. And I'm sick of that. He don't owe you nothing. And if him or his family come out and say, I don't want you to cover this story no more. I don't need y'all to do that for me no more. I don't want to be a part of it. So what? They have a right to do that. Nobody asked you to go back and forth. Nobody asked you to cover this story. Nobody personally reached out to, to you and asked you to do nothing. Nobody asked your silly ass to do nothing. But it's all of these content creators running around here acting like, not all of them, but it's a few of them acting like they need some sort of award or recognition or shout out or this and that. The truth would have never had to shout me out, recognize me, none of that. And I still would have kept covering the story because he didn't ask me to do it. So now that he doesn't want to, now that they don't want to be involved, now that they want to be a family, y'all crazy. Everything went down, you know what I'm saying? Everything, everything was leading 90, 90, 91, 92. At the 92, everything went down. <laughs> everything went down. Whoop. <laughs> Already on my party. Hey y'all, it's your girl Tay with the T. And as you can see and hear, these people is batshit crazy. I did a whole live this morning and I had to express my feelings within that live because I don't know what people think that they was owed throughout this situation, but anything in any part you played was definitely by your own choice. We are all grown. You cannot blame nobody for the decisions you chose to make yourself. So when you wonder how you got into the situations that you got into, ask you. Now, the funny part about it is if these people decide to go on with their lives the way that they chose to, you still have to pay for the things that you chose to do. And it's just sad that even though this situation may be over for some it's just beginning for most because anytime you got court cases and defamations and threats and addresses and all type of those type of things that's been put out, that's not something that just goes away. So my question in my live this morning was the same thing. Where do those people go from here? Because Brianna and Latruth is choosing to go on with their life. The family members too. And now you got all of these access content creators that feel like they owe something for the stupid shit that they chose to do. Now, if your job was to come here and content create and you came here and you shared content, that was part of your creation. Nobody forced you to put that on your panel. So anything you chose to put on your panel, speak on, defend, that is on you, my friend. Now, the questions that I have to ask, once again, what are you going to do? You can't blame none of this on Brianna or the truth. I mean, she gave some access that should have been denied but the truth didn't play that route not one time he didn't give nobody nothing he didn't ask nobody for nothing he didn't tell nobody nothing everything that was done people chose to do on their own
So if you chose to be wrong and strong on your own, that's on you. That's not on him. He never asked you to defend. Anyway, this is your girl Tay with the T. And you know what? Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe for me. Let's do that. Because a lot of people be in the bushes and they don't be hitting that button, baby. And if you coming and you a regular, you might as well hit the like button. I won't know it's you. I won't know it's you. But anyway, let's get back to the story at hand. Brianna and the truth can go on the way that they came in about their damn business because we was all in about their business. They wasn't all in about our business. So if you chose to speak on somebody else's business, you can't get mad at them at the end if they choose to continue to go on about their business. Did you hear that? Their business. You heard that? Their business. Not your business, not my business. Their business. We chose to put our voice on their business. They never asked us to put ourselves in their business. We just chose to call ourselves doing some defending, and that's what we was doing. At least I know the truth side was doing some, some, some defending until some people just went kind of wacky and things had to be more about them than what they were speaking for about from the beginning like i don't understand how did so many people personal lives get thrown into this situation how did this become about you when we was talking about them too anyway like i said click that button hit that bell you can drop a donation as well this has been your girl tay with the t and you know how this go i'm out baby